Before I go to bed, I just want to make this quick video. Not all criticism is constructive. That's why there's the phrase constructive criticism. Some people seem to be under the impression that all criticism is constructive. Or you want to ignore that some criticism is just damaging. Because if your reason for criticizing has nothing to do with trying to find a better answer or to get them to actually see anything, then there's nothing constructive about it. You're just saying it to, to be negative. Well, well, you know, uh, uh, well, well I, I need to point out some sort of technicality. Well, okay, okay. D d is there a goal in this? You know, are you trying to show them something that's, you know, a significant argument against the concepts they're talking about? In the case of Sargon, let me ask you something, okay? Would you be more satisfied if I just said that, okay, yeah, Sargon's on the left, but he does more damage to the left than most of the people on the right do? Would, would that satisfy you more? See, because that's what I'm starting to kind of wonder. I mean, are you just wanting to destroy the left? If your idea is to is to have constructive criticism of the left, where people can actually recover, there can be some actual ideas that come out of this, and you're actually putting some thought into the reason why people have the positions they do instead of just criticizing them for having them, then maybe we can do something that's actually, you know, constructive. But Sargon only, uh, only benefits the right wing. That's, those are the only people that can benefit from anything that he says. And that's why most of the people that follow him I'll, I, I can't I won't say that exactly he has a very large percentage of people that follow him that are on the right and they tend to be some of the ones that are the most vocal see like as a gay man it you know I need to sometimes hold the gay community you know, accountable for when I see it in an attitude that, that, that's, that's there a lot. You know, I need to be able to have constructive criticism of, of the gay community. You know, but if the only thing I did was just criticize the gay community, it, people could, you know, would rightly <laughs> assume uh, that I'm anti-gay to some degree. I mean, how, and if that's all they, they hear me talk about, how could they not assume that I'm anti-gay? That's another thing about what Sargon does as well. Okay, this is another reason why I have a very difficult time Thinking, thinking of him as left-wing or as liberal is his reasons for laughing at people, his reasons for being kind of degrading to people. And it seems to be this attitude that Everyone should uh, be conforming to the same lifestyle, the same desires for appearances, the same, uh, just so many of the same things that, that, that he 
uh, views uh, things as. And if it's if it's just too far different than what he, than how he looks at things, looks at the world, outlooks or whatever, he feels the need to chastise or ridicule or laugh at, and it's it's. And those things, I mean, the only people that generally do laugh at those things are on the right. I mean, some of the shit that he he does is it's it's like Steven Crowder almost, you know, um, or Rush Limbaugh. Um, it's that same sort of it, it, the things that he criticizes. In the way that he criticizes them. In the way that he feels that he's so much better than the people who, who, who have a different lifestyle than he does. That may have a different outlook than he does. As if his outlook is the only one that can work. I mean, as much as, as I don't... I, I disagree with some people's uh, viewpoints. It's like, well, you know, if it's working for you, it's working for you. Great. You know, my the, my viewpoint. I mean, just I, I honestly think if 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 people are being honest, just about any gay man's viewpoint of the world is probably not going to work for a straight man, right? It just there's there are things that. You f that are different that you end up finding important. It's just <laughs> so my viewpoint. I certainly can't expect to work for really anyone else than myself. So for me to have some sort of attitude about people who have who live a different lifestyle than I do seems pretty. That that's that's not. Pushing forth individualism, you know. Yet he claims he he oh believes in in individualism. Well, where is it? Where where is that in his attitudes? Well, most of it just seems to be virtue signaling. It seems. And when when does he defend liberals? When does he say anything negative about the right wing? But we're just supposed to believe him when he when he when he says, uh, you know, that he, oh well, I stand for these principles. Okay, can you can you show this other than you know sending porn to uh, some alt an alt right group getting uh, uh, temporarily suspended from uh, Twitter and then saying, oh, I, I have no idea why I got suspended. It's terrible. Almost wanted to push forth one of those narratives that there, it, 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 it must have been something the left did. Then when it's found out, you know, and it, you're, it's shown, you know, that you did this and, you know, you, you were putting porn pictures to these groups, you just kind of... Oh well. Oh, oh, what's this over here? So, I I think Sargon is an opportunist, and I don't think we'll ever really know what his beliefs are. But you can get a good, pretty good picture of who someone is by the things that they find funny. Especially when it's done very arrogantly.